I did my part. I voted. It felt really good. Well, I'm not here to talk about the vote. Hey, people, by the way. Hey, people. I want to talk to you about something that's become very important to me, very dear to my heart, and I just, I want to share it with you. I am obsessed with The Walking Dead. I did not expect this. I do not like zombies. I never have liked zombies. Zombies are like teenagers with bad hygiene, bad skin, bad clothes, and greasy hair, and uh, no wits about them whatsoever. So I just don't understand. I always like vampires. I like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Those are complex monsters. Zombies are mindless and there's just, I never saw the point. And then people start saying, you need to watch The Walking Dead, you need, it's great, and I heard all this hype about it, and I usually resist hype. I usually stay away, but this sounded like something I might like. I just needed to check out, and I did. The first season was okay, it didn't live up to its hype, I thought, but the second season had me hooked before the middle of the season. And so I just caught up this summer and now I'm watching it on television with everyone else. I have decided that this is so important to me, I want to talk about it. No, I really, I want to talk about The Walking Dead because every episode blows me away. Every episode makes me think of these themes that are explored in it, and I'm not even sure those themes that I'm seeing in The Walking Dead are intentional. I mean, I'm not sure that the writers are putting, you know, meaning for people to get the things out of the show that I'm getting out of the show, but that's typical of me. I'm always looking at things through a little bit of a different lens than the world, so I, I, that's, that's what's inspired me to want to talk about it. Also, I've been following film reviews of the Jill Kill, that's her channel. I love watching her reviews, and since the uh, last episode of season two, she's been doing reviews of each episode of The Walking Dead. And there, it was very interesting one day she made the comment that the thing that intrigues her most about horror, because that's what all of her reviews are, horror. What intrigues her about horror is the question of what a person will do to survive. What are the links they'll go to? What are the choices they'll make? Well, I, I responded to her in her comments that the thing that intrigues me is the question of evil and how people face evil and the choices they will make. And her response to me was, that's an interesting take because that's something she would never think of since she doesn't believe in evil. That inspired me to want to start exploring this from my point of view and what I find intriguing about The Walking Dead. And it kind of reflects what I find intriguing about horror in general. So what I'm wanting to explore are spiritual themes in The Walking Dead. I'm a spiritual person. I'm um, a Christian person, and so everything that I perceive is, is shaded by that. That may make you lose interest or it may interest you more, so just uh, view accordingly. So yeah, it's really interesting when you watch The Walking Dead back to back like I did the seasons one and two episodes, especially season two episodes, it starts to infiltrate your life. Like you expect to watch or see a zombie walking around down the street towards you at some point. Or for me, this is what horror does. It, it pinpricks your vulnerabilities. Movies like Nightmare on Elm Street are great because when are you most vulnerable? When you're asleep. Um, paranormal activity is this way too. When you're asleep, you are completely vulnerable. You feel completely vulnerable. And for me, I'll be letting my dogs out into the backyard at night. I have one sick dog. I have to go out there with her. I can't just go let them out, shut the door. I have a light in the backyard, but there are shadows. There are blind spots around the back of the house. And so I can picture a zombie suddenly coming from around the corner. And what am I going to do? Do I leave the dog out there and save myself? You know, it's stupid, but it's just, it's one of those things you start thinking about. And you start thinking about how vulnerable you are in the real world. And when you take it all in a spiritual context, you realize how vulnerable you are in the world just as it is, no matter how secure and safe it feels. That's just something I'm wanting to talk about and explore. If you're interested in The Walking Dead, maybe you'll be interested in hearing the reviews and following along with me and enter a discussion. I'd love to hear your take because it is really interesting. As in my comments with Jill Kill, we all have a different way of perceiving life around us and we have a different way of perceiving the horror genre and uh, something different draws each one of us to it. and that gives it one storyline, and something as rich, I mean, 
Walking Dead is so rich. It's character driven. It's plot driven. It's gross. It's got the thrill uh, element to it. So it kind of, it really has something for everybody. So it's no wonder that it has been such a sensation. Well, I'm not really a horror fan myself, actually. But yeah, it, it's pulled me into it. So anyway, I look forward to that. And we'll see what I think about specific things in The Walking Dead in my next video. See you then. Bye, guys.